Today on Fat Man Makes, this is going to be part five of the Ponagachi build series, and we're going to be covering how to access your Ponagachi natively within Windows 10 using the built in SSH, and also how to run a quick backup within Windows and copy that backup file to your computer. Don't forget to submit your entry to the contest I'm having in regards to the Ponagachi. All you need to do is send me a pawn mail from your newly created Ponagachi. Details in the description. Please make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you get notifications of the up and coming video. All right, let's jump right into it. So we need to start by verifying that SSH is enabled on your computer. From the command prompt, type SSH and press enter. And if you get this usage statement, then you know SSH is enabled. By default with the newest updates of Windows 10, it should be enabled. If not, then you either need to manually enable it or better yet, upgrade your version of Windows 10 to the newest release. And by default, the command prompt should open in the root of your user directory. We just need to change directory. So cd space dot ssh enter. And that will bring us to the SSH folder. Within this folder, we need to look and see if we have the id underscore rsa dot pub. So we issue the dir command, hit enter, and that will list the contents of this folder. And here we see the id underscore rsa dot pub. Let's just type it out. So type space and then the file name. And then we can see here's our public encryption key. Just highlight it and right click to select it. Now we're going to SSH into our pi. So SSH space pi at 10.0.0.2, hit enter. We should get the login field here. Type in your password and hit enter. First thing we want to do is do an ls space dash la and that will show us all the files in our home directory. We don't see a dot SSH so we're gonna make it mkdir space dot ssh hit enter then change directory cd space dot ssh hit enter now we need to create a file so nano space authorized underscore keys hit enter and we can see this is a blank file we're just going to paste what we copied before the public key from our computer and save yes to save and exit now we're back on our local machine and you see here we just tried to log in and we weren't prompted for a password it automatically logged us into ssh without having to type a password so tested it and now we know it works i see a lot of questions and confusion out there about how exactly to make a backup of your ponagachi or how do I get my handshake files off of my Ponagachi? The built-in backup script isn't designed to function within Windows. It leaves a lot of people questioning how exactly do they get the files off their Ponagachi or how do they do a backup? This video provides a simple solution to that question. Let's take a look and see how it's done. We start by opening a command prompt. By default, it will open to the root of your Windows user profile. Now I created a working directory called Ponagachi previously, so we just need to change directory into that. So CD space Ponagachi, hit enter. And if you don't have this directory, you can just create it within Windows. We just need to verify that SSH is enabled. So you type SSH and hit enter. And if you get this usage statement, then SSH is enabled on your machine and you're good to go. Let's log into the Ponagachi SSH, the username, which in my case is pi, at symbol, and then the IP address 10.0.0.2. You hit enter. 
because we did the certificate, it automatically logs in without asking a password. So we're here in the home directory of our Ponagachi and the first thing we need to do is create a, a real quick backup script. So we're going to do nano and then whatever you're gonna call the backup script, I'm gonna call it pwn-back.sh. It's just gonna be a three line script and you can find this in the paste bin file that'll be in the description. It's a script, uh, we're setting a variable for the date and then this is gonna be the command that's going to tar and gzip the files and it's going to name the file, the host name of your Ponagachi dash back dash today's date. And it's going to tar and zip these two folders, which is the Etsy dash Ponagachi and the root directories. And that's it. Hit enter for new line, control X to escape. Yes to modify and enter to save. There we One last thing we need to do is we need to make this executable. So sudo chmod and plus x and then the name of our file. And you can start typing it and then hit tab and it will fill in the rest. Press enter. Okay, no error there. So that means that that command is good and we can verify that by doing an, an ls space dash l and we can see here it's read, write and execute for the user. So now we want to run a backup and we can run that backup by doing a sudo dot forward slash and then we're calling that file pawn dash back dot sh hit enter and we can see this is all the files that are being compressed so depending on how many files you have it might take a little bit when it's completed we get the command prompt back and if we do an ls dash l we can see now that this file is created and that is our backup um, so I would real quick let's just open a notepad here we are and I'm just gonna copy this file because we're gonna need that in the future there we go all right and we can log off of the Ponagachi we do that by typing exit hitting enter all right, our session is closed and we see now we're on the local Windows computer. All right, so now we're gonna do a, a file transfer to get that backup on our local machine. So we're gonna do an SCP, so that's a secure file transfer and we're gonna specify the username, which is pi and the host name at 10.0.0.2. Colon, and the name of the file, which we have right here. And then we're going to put a space and a dot and forward slash, which is gonna to specify to save the file with the same exact name in this current working directory. We hit enter and the file is transferred successfully. And now let's just take a look at that file. So we're in the root directory, Ponagachi, and we can see here is that file. It's a .tar.gzip. So again, um, from the other videos, you need to be running either 7-zip or WinRAR. This machine has WinRAR on it. So if we double click, we can open that gzip file and we see an Etsy and a root here and we can select them and drag and drop to extract so now we have our etsy file ponagachi here's our configuration and if we go back up here's our root directory and we have the handshakes folder 
and here's all the pcaps that's it that's all it takes guys hit me up in the comments let me know how you made out with this did it help you out if you're still watching this video then make sure you click subscribe so you can see the next awesome video from fat man makes